tomorrow, 14th of September, is going to be really exciting for action camera lovers because GoPro 11 is also going to come out on the very same day as DJI Osmo Action 3. So if you want the leak information about DJI Osmo Action 3, do check out my previous video. But this is about GoPro Hero 11. On GoPro YouTube website, you can see there are going to be three different videos that will premiere tomorrow. That does not mean that it's going to have three different cameras. In fact, there's going to be one, the proper Hero Black, and also this is going to be Hero 11 Mini. As you can see, the edge, the light, the size of the camera. And the third one, maybe it's going to be like the general trailer, but there are going to be just two cameras, as you can see in this teaser. What a tease, because we really haven't seen a lot in this YouTube video. But we have plenty of leaks in this Win Future Deutsche website. So you can see that the general form factor of Hero 11 Black is going to be very, very similar as Hero 10. So this is the official website of Hero 10 Black. So here there are speakers, GoPro logo, 10 black power and button here and also the display with the power light it looks exactly the same one thing that i think most people do like about gopro is that the case there is no separate case however this one camera it does have this holder part that can be attached to a selfie stick etc here are more images and this article is from dronedj.com you see that the outer design all the same the resolution looks beautiful the top also the same and also the back display is big but it's basically the same design as the normal Hero 10 Black as well just the logo change that's all. Some people say the resolution, the camera quality may be better. However, there's one article from gsmarina.com that both of the 11 series models will use the GP2 processor from last year, which can handle 5.3K resolution video at 60 frames per second, 4K at 120 frames per second, and 2.7K at 240 frames per second. Can do live stream at 1080p. Hyper smooth stabilization will be updated to version 5. Time warp will remain at version 3. So basically all the function other than Hypersmooth, which is like the software side of things, it seems like the video quality is probably going to be the same as the good old Hero 10 Black, which is currently going at around $400. The starting price used to be $549. That's going to be far more expensive than what we said about DJI Osmo Action 3, which we now expect the standard price is going to be around $329. The advance will be $450 nine euros for this package with extra battery now we are at mini let's actually talk about 11 black mini in detail so this is the leaked image so it is like a square shaped the rough dimension is going to be 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter nearly 40 millimeter thick and for comparison the gopro 10 black measures 71.8 by 50.8 by 33.6 millimeter and hero 5 session which came out ages ago like almost half a decade ago it measured that 38 times 38 times 38 times so perfect cube shape but in a smaller format than this upcoming gopro mini looking at the detail it does seem to have the same lens as gopro hero 11 black it got rid of the front display the side looks the same except the mini it looks smaller at the bottom it has the mount where you can connect to the selfie stick or tripod and i guess it has no back display to really say for the battery and save for the space so this is the picture in the hand of a palm of a man it looks really tiny and i guess it'll be really popular with people like fpv pilots and so on and on further specs revealed by Roland Quant, the GoPro Hero 11 Black Mini will debut with the same internal spec sheet as a regular Hero 11 Black. So that's a great news. It just doesn't have the display at the front and at the back. And that means the compact camera will also get the new 27 megapixel sensor. So yes, GoPro Hero 11 Black, the big brother, is also going to get the 27 megapixel sensor. So compare that against Hero 10 Black. It is an improvement because the predecessor used to have 23 megapixel photo. Then the video resolution for Black Mini is expected at 5.3K 60 frames per second, 4K 120 frames per second, 2.7K at 240 frames per second. So that is the same as the predecessor GoPro Hero 10 Black.
The mini version, apparently the rumor says it's going to be 449 euros. So it's going to be a bit cheaper than Hero 11 Black, which we expect about 549 euros. Right now, Euro, US dollar, about one to one. So I guess you can just convert that into $450 for mini and $550 for Hero 11 Black, the bigger brother. So that is actually a lot more expensive than what we expect on DJI Action 3 because the standard is going to go for 329 US dollars. However, DJI Osmo Action 3 would not have 5.3K resolution. However, it will just stick to 4K resolution at max. The final info I want to share with you guys is the full box. So we have the full view of what you would get if you pay for Hero 11 Black. This is the box. Nothing that fancy. And this is what you get inside the box, even including SD card it seems. And in the box, it clearly says new sensor for more immersive capture, hyper smooth 5.0 stabilization technology, next gen image quality, end to end automation in the quick app and power optimization with the new battery and night effect presets and time warp 3.0. So the new larger sensor will be able to capture 27 megapixel first. Photo. So are you excited about the clash of GoPro against DJI? Which one will you guys choose? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll come back with other reviews about exciting technology. So please stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and see you.